Hi all, I'm back with more Conflict to Heroes Soul Mission, uh, Soul Campaign One, Mission One behind the enemy lines. This will be part eight. Uh, I just put part seven out there a little while ago. Um, only a couple of comments I made was originally there was an AI in here who had been four away from something as well as this guy that was four away, and I thought he should have been considered. However. The instructions, the order was uh, AI in a 0DM hex, and I think he was on, I think he was on this hex, which isn't a 0DM hex. However, as I commented, I also have to comment that this guy in here was, was within four, and he should have been considered, and I think the guy in there, he's moved out of there now, I think I must consider him three or, on three or four occasions, actually. Maybe got lucky on a couple of them, but I don't know, it's just because he was... I don't know, there's something about I'm just being in that area that managed to put me off and forget all about him. Uh, however, yeah, I can't go back to that now. And it was it was just going to be a random die roll, so just need to put that down there. Well, the die roll rolled, the other, rolled in the other guy's favour. Um, okay, so we're starting a new round. Um, I eventually got my post up on Facebook, uh, the... Conflict to Heroes page. Um, I'm wondering if it was because there was an image attached to it and it wasn't just text, comment, and that's why it took so long. It's quite possible, but I, I, I wanted to upload the image to ask my question, you know, whether... So um, so it's it's up there now, and unfortunately the, I've got... The only reply I've got is somebody's mistaken the... German unit from the Soviet unit, so there's not an, not exactly any um, answer to the question yet, or anybody's input in it. Um, however, he has noticed, uh, is Marcus, was it Marcus, I think, has noticed um, uh, uh, that he was looking at the diff units differently, so whether he'll come back with anything else um, after that, we'll see. It might, because he's just replied there just now, so well, maybe I'll keep an eye on that. And then... Um, the question is, it's just a simple one that, like, moving towards the unit's flank but not getting closer, and is that considered a legal low-risk move? So, we'll see. I, I could see that one going either way. However, part of the question was also about 5.2, and if it's... To be honest, I really wish I'd worded it as two questions, um, because I think people might just look at the look at the example and answer that part and not look at the question that I initially started with was which is what how was suggesting that five point two was only relevant to normal movement and I, I'm pretty sure it's it, it covers a low risk movement as well. But we'll see maybe I maybe when I get an answer I can sort of add that in or whatever. Uh okay, so I keep forgetting to switch the phone off because that's me now it's I'm just keeping an eye on it. It's got thirty four gigabyte but every time I copy the file back across, like I say, it must store it in a cache on the phone. So uh, switching the phone back off and on. But I'm not going to use 34 gigabyte right now. So, but if I keep for if I keep forgetting, I'm going to come a time I'm going to run out of space. So, okay, you round. Yeah, we never got very far, but at least we got to reset the round pretty quick, which was, and that was due to the an RE trying to uh, make an attack and finding out it was a no enemy. So I took advantage of that and then, um, yeah. So, well, it's going to be an initiative roll again, but I'm not, well, I'd like the initiative, but I'm not overly bothered. There's nothing, it's only, I think it's always important if you're in uh, short range combat or close combat that you would want to get the first shot because if you don't, they're going to. Yeah. Right, so we'll just take a no cap spent. So we need an eight or greater. Ah, seven. Okay. So we lose out by one this time. Not the big 12 that I got the last time. Right, so it's going to be the AI to kick things off. Let's just bash on. and we go. Uh, yeah, I had shuffled the cards, yeah. Right, so it's a green card to start with, which is good. Um, counteractions, no, I didn't pass, I didn't fire. I've not, I've not had a turn yet. So no counteractions, there's nothing up close. Uh 
Unhit the end cover, closest to fresh unit, fire plus one caps, just looking around. There's nothing within two hexes, so nothing that can fire. Uh, yeah, here we go, we get this one a lot, don't we? Yeah, in zero DM hex, closest to target, Loris move towards cover, closest to the target. And we did step in here recently and say that we're, if there's multiple covers, we're going to look to the cover towards the unit's flank, which, yeah. Makes sense. Okay, it's not written in the rules, so if you want to see on rule sixty, uh, rule sixty two, rule forty two, and that, then fair enough. Um. I, yeah, yeah. I I have I have sort of said I, I can see how people have swayed into it because it it just makes things simpler. You're not sort of making moves that are totally against the rules, you know. I think if I was doing something that was totally against the rules, then that, that would be a different thing, but... So, I'm I'm more understanding of it now, guys. Um, I just... I suppose I just like the rule to be there, but the, the rules aren't there in this game. These ones aren't there, so you've got to... Anyway, let's, let's not go into that. Let's get a part done, Grant. Because uh, as I'm a bit... Just home from work. It's not quite as late as it was last night, so I thought I've got time to squeeze a part in. Um, so, AI and Zero Dem Hex closest to a target, right? Is it this guy? Well, let's just make sure about the other ones this time. He's one, two, three away. This guy is three away, but he's not in a Zero Dem Hex. Uh, that's one of ours. This guy is not in a Zero Dem Hex either. So it's definitely him. Now, are you sure this time? Because I felt like that was clear the last time, and it totally wasn't clear, I'd missed that guy up there and thought I'd missed this guy down here. Right, it's definitely him, however... Yeah, yeah, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three... So this is his target. Well, this is the target unit. I'm not so sure he's going to be able to do this, is he? That's the target unit. That's the target's closest cover, that one and that one, right? So let's break that down. Which one is the more relevant one? That one. Because if we if we were to manage to move into that hex, we'd be in that unit's flank, whereas we wouldn't in that one. So that is our target, and that's the unit that's targeted as well. So I want to say that there is still influence, and the influence is that the cover's in his flank, and that's what we can... So can that Loris move towards that cover? Um, <laughs> it's getting tougher now, Grant, isn't it? I mean, I, I can't move into there because I'm not in a fire zone and I'd be moving into a fire zone and it's not a DM hex. And... Well, I, I mean, uh, I did do it, did I not do it in the last, where I moved and then looked. No, no, hang on, that was if it was in a fair zone, Grant, and it was moving towards a flank. I think if it's not, and you're going to move into a fair zone, you need to be moving into a DM hex. Because that, that's only two options it gives you. Move into another non fire zone hex, or move into a fire zone that has a DM. So... I can't, I say I can't move into a fire, um, I'm not, I, sorry, a fire zone hex that has a DM, because um, there's nothing adjacent to them. So, the only thing, the only thing you could start considering is moving into another non-fire zone hex, but if I'm one, two, three away, I'm moving into there and I'm one, two, three away, I'm not I'm not buying that one. Um is this moving closer to this unit's flank? It's not, is it? That 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 sort of move is not. I don't well, is it? <laughs> is it? I don't I don't I don't really think it is. But but yeah, I mean, the way you were counting out before, then it, it probably is, because then let's just again pretend that that guy's not there. 
And let's just say that you're wanting to move round to this. I mean, this is our target, okay, but this is the unit. So you can't move into there. You would move into there. Then you would move into there. If you're moving around this flat, however, the next oldest move would be to move into that cover rather than round there, wouldn't it? This this feels off doing that, doesn't it? That f but then that, that this is this is your being your argument, Grant, isn't it? Your argument has been, or your belief has been, that it's okay to try and move towards the unit's flank and not get closer. Some of them look easier to get than others. This one, not so, I don't feel. But then I spoke about that the last time. The last time I had it, and then eventually we went and done it, because I thought, well, if you're going to do that, stick with it. I mean, he's, he's never going to be able to get moved round to this unit's flank without without interfering with that guy anyway, but should that come in here too? I don't know. There's, uh, yeah, that's uh, not the question I wanted right now, did I? But these are the ones that need tight, tidied up for you, sorted out. Uh, I just had a quick look, and I had... A reply from an Eric, I can't mind who said, but Eric on Facebook, saying that my question on Facebook, he plays it that the unit could make that move. Um, so that's good that somebody played, but that's him playing it that way. What I really want is a designer to come and tell me, um, you know, if it's a legal move or not. Um, if Eric plays it that way, uh, is it the, is it the rule or is it just the way he sort of rules it, uh, as in he rule forty two it? But that that's one the the one the question on um, Facebook, you know, the unit is uh, he's enough he's in a fire zone and he's moving around the unit's flank. That's one. It's also a question I I don't feel as clear about you know I, I, that it's right for that to move into that, but. I'd still wait to ask that question, you know. Right now, it just it just feels wrong. I don't feel like that is achieving a move towards you. Ah, but it kind of is, Grant. I mean, if he if he can't, then he cannot order us move, and I'm going to have to look for another unit. Next closest unit may well be this guy here. Yeah, this is exactly a question I want to ask as well, I think. Uh, I kind of like... I, I'm, the question I've got out there is an important one. If I got an answer back saying that, yes, you can do that, then I would be comfortable about asking, well, if you're not in a fire zone, um, can you move into a hex that doesn't get you closer and is still not in a fire zone? But it's also moving towards the unit's flank. So we'll see. We'll see what, how that one come back. But that doesn't help me resolve this. Um, I don't know. I mean, is that kind of zero DM hex? I think he is actually. One, two, three, four, five. Well, he's actually only five away. So he's probably the next one. Not this guy. Well, hold on. No, he's in a, he's in a DMX. Because uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. Well, it is between the two. Um, this guy be quite comfortable moving into the woods here, and he would be quite comfortable moving in there. So there's not an issue with the two uh, making the move, but it's just about do you feel comfortable enough? Do you feel confident enough about making that move and I'm not so sure but what you know that's that's what you're trying to say that, that, that it's allowed this grant if I was moving into a fire zone while doing it then no I would say it's not unless of course it was a a DMX, but I would, 
I would do it in DM Hex no matter even if I was moving it in the unit's flank. You know what? I'm just, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I think this is a learning process and these things are all obviously bothering me and I need to know Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to move him into there as a low-risk move. He was not in a fire zone. He's still not, now not in a fire zone. He's not got any closer to his target, actually. I'm forgetting the targets, the colour, isn't it? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's not getting any closer to that. And again, yeah, again, this is a trickier one, too, because we're not really considering the unit. So can you actually say that I'm moving to... The, the unit's flank when the instruction the order is to move towards the cover yeah mate, right okay I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to not take this one on them because we are trying to lower us move towards the cover so we can't go into the flank of the cover I know we can go into the flank of the unit and I did say I was going to use the unit as still have an influence on the move, but I'm going to I'm going to leave this one actually. Then I'm going to leave this one. So I'm going to decide between these two, um, yeah. And then this guy's going to be the either one's target, and you can see the cover is either going to be there, there, or there. Um, this one preferably because that's in his flank, so that is the target cover well oh, hold on no but you you select the ai closest to the target so it's not it's not i'm not further away from that we're actually looking at the unit first then we decide on the cover and we'll just move towards it but there's i mean he's either going to move into there or he's going to move into there that's quite straightforward uh decide between the two yeah, and it's unhat lowest cost to move, so it's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna say uh, roll the two. So it's gonna be that guy. So he's just gonna move into that that building there. Gets one hex closer to what this would be the cover that he was targeting. And yeah, and then the reason I've left that is because it was a cover we were looking towards, and we weren't moving closer to it. You can't get into a cover's flank. So, although I've selected that cover based on where the unit is, it's in his flank, I don't think I can then consider the actual order. But, if I was if that was my target, I would have still took that on and moved into there, moving towards his flank. But again, it's not 100% clear, it's... Or maybe it is to some. Uh, so that was the card. He's checking on a two, actually, because that was in a stone building. Um, so here we go. And he gets a four, so he's okay. Uh, okay, so over to us, then. Um, well, I'm probably just going to stick with the guy that's closest. I know our pioneer is stronger, but he's quite close to that, so... I mean, if he gets a normal move, this guy, he's just going to move into there or there. And then we will have line of sight. And maybe the other thing is I could probably put my pioneers into here and a bit better cover. No, I think I'm going to just move with us. You still have that rapid deployment, Grant. This is in a cover hex, so... Yeah, no. No, I'm just going to move that guy up there one. So, and then check in on one. Oh, come on. Come on. That's incredible. Same again, he gets one move. I think the last round, he got two moves, and the other guy got one move. And they were always checking on a one. I mean, I can understand that if we're checking on a three or, or maybe even the two, maybe, but not a one. 
Right, okay. Back to the eye. No, oh, track's going to move. Well, it's the first time it's moved in a while, so... Yeah, definitely going to move. There's definitely less than 24. So, what are we getting? Place an RE. So, place an RE. Um, so, that's a no enemy counter in the cop, isn't it? Row D6, place a rumoured enemy. Uh huh. The hex is occupied. Reroll. Once it's been placed, add no enemy counter to, to the rumoured enemy cop. Right, so I put a no enemy counter on. And rumoured enemy, going to roll a dice. There's the numbers on the map there. Roll the two. Oh, that's right beside one of my guys. So it's in that middle building. Look at that is. Look. It's right there. Isn't it? Yep. Well, the good thing is we're going to reveal it, but <laughs> it could be horrible if it's the Soviet unit because it's right in our flank and it's going to fire at us. Are we in cover? No, we're exposing our flanks. So I've got a defence at 11. Okay, well, it is adjacent, so we have to reveal that right away. So... Yeah, although I'd prefer my room, my no enemy counters down here, you kind of want, sort of want this to be a no enemy counter as well, but... Right, what we got? That's not a no enemy counter. So, rifle, right behind me. How did we not spot that? It's just appeared from nowhere. And, yes... So the order on the card that short range is fire. That's only short range we've got up here. So no caps added. So it's a three plus three for short range. Six against eleven. We're not in cover. Six against eleven. Dear me. Well, it needs to be low or we're in trouble. So he needs a five for a hat. And a nine for a critical lap. There we go. Wow. Okay. Good. Something. Right. Let's get them spent as well, so that we can do something about it. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, part of me feels we should just run away. We should, well, as in keep moving. Anyway, it costs them four to attack. Um. So come on, surely. One. Good. Right. He's spent. Well, what do we do here? See, the thing is, it doesn't benefit us. The fact he's spent, we should just move away. We should keep going. We get no points for killing them anyway. Right, well, I have to move I have to move this rifle then because I'm not taking the chance of a command order com card coming up. So, uh, yeah, I'll move into the wooden light, the wooden building. Um, that will be a check on a two, but at least he's got a little bit extra defence. And I'm not going to try and turn his face in or anything like that. Um, well, yeah, this guy was spent anyway, so I would have been moving one of these guys anyway. Right, so I'm moving him into there, check on a two. We'll get a six, okay. Maybe things turn up. Yeah, don't get too carried away, Grant. Right, back to the AI. Uh, it's not a blue card, so that guy's not going to do anything. And uh, hang on, he would have had a muzzle flash. <sighs> it wouldn't have mattered. No, it wouldn't have mattered. It's fine. Um, execute kind of actions. Well, we did not pass, we did not fire. Moving on, there's no hit AI, there is no hit AI. AI closest to a unit that just acted. Or us move towards. Okay. AI closest to the unit just acted. This is unit just acted. This is the closest the AI. Can he or us move towards? Mm -mm -mm. Um. 
Well, again, again, you're there again, Grant. You, you, you need to get this one cleared up. One, two, th I'm three away from the unit just acted. So that is the AI that's closest. That is the unit just acted. Can we move us move towards them? Um, well, I'm not in a fire zone. That would, that's only heck, no, that's not true. These two hexes move closer to them. Both of them would be in a fire zone and they're not a zero DM hex. So that, that tends to tell you, no, he cannot make that move. Um, and the only other consideration is, does that count as moving towards that unit's flank? And it, yeah, just when they're like that, it just feel it doesn't feel right. Because this guy's here as well. I mean, but again, see, see if there's nothing in the rules that says that you can't do that. They're just leaving you there to sort of say, look, pick the right move. That that's not any good. Don't don't do it. I'd rather it was written in the rules to say that you definitely cannot do that. And if it is, then. Um, somebody needs to explain it to me and highlight it and you know because he is not in a fire zone um, so he could move into another non-fire zone hex which is there now that's not getting closer to that no it's not but it's not moving further away from that and this is where I get stuck. And you say, well, why is he moving there? And you say, well, he's moving towards the unit's flank. That talks about moving towards the unit's flank. Okay. I'm thinking that the, the reason I'm having more problems in this scenario is because these aren't sitting in fire zones. Because if this wasn't in the night scenario, this would be sitting in his fire zone. Right? So then I'd be looking at the AIs in a, a fire zone, the AI will move into a non-fire zone hex. Well, he can't. We'll move into a fire zone hex at the same or higher DN as the starting hex is DN. Um, well, actually, yeah, that's then it's totally different, isn't it? Because he's in a zero DM hex, he can just clearly move into there. And that's allowed as a low-risk move. Cause, and then he's getting closer. So I think this and this actual mission is causing a bit bother because we're not in the fire zone and we're so close. I can see that. I think that's why I'm having a bit of difficulty. Yeah, I I I don't feel good about moving that into there. I I, I must admit. Okay, I, I think I'm going to stick with it, though. I think I'm going to do that. And I know that might start looking kind of silly now. I think with this mission, you, it's night time. You're, you're wanting to creep about. You know, he doesn't want to move into the fire zone. He's low risking. That was the unit just acted. I've not moved further away from him. I've stayed the same distance. I'm going to go with that. However, I, I do not... I'm pretty sure there's some of you... Screaming at that one. Although you might well have been screaming at the other ones that I've done as well. Um, but I, this is that question right there I'd like to ask. I think when I took the picture, when I take the picture of that one to, to ask that question though, what I need to do is specify that it's the nighttime rules, it's why in a site is only two hexes. Because uh, trying to set up a situation... You know, it needs to be in the open that for it to work, I think. Okay, I'm I'm gonna take that on. Looks looks like a daft move, but you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna get on there and see how we go. Ah, uh, he's spent on a one. So there we go. I think his facing still would have been the same yeah, I think so. Right, okay. Um back to us. Uh, well, maybe the pioneers. Well, oh, here's a thought. Group move. Risky. We just pulled a one, though. We just pulled a one. We could group move these two units into there. 
that is then going to be in his fire. My oh, mind you, this guy's spent. Why not do that? And what if I get spent with the group move? Well, let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm going to group move. So they both move together. Um, the cost to check. Uh, spent check is going to be on a one. However, if I, if I do draw a one, I'm going to be... They're both going to be spent. Is that worth spending? Doing it on a cap, Gran? So I'm assuming I would only need to spend one cap for that. Yeah? Or do I need to spend one for each? Uh, I don't know. Why am I doubting that one? I feel like it's only one, but... Uh, of course, the thing is... Oh, well, no. I can surely find that in so rules, Grant. It must be in the rules here. Uh, give me a sec. I'm not sure why I'm not finding that. Uh, I'm just not working that out. I feel like it, it's one to make this move. I'm going to draw and spend check on a one. If I wanted to avoid that spend check, I reckon I could spend one cap. But it's just the fact then that there's two of them moving, you're trying to avoid... Oh, you know what? I'll not spend the cap, right? So I've moved in, we're checking on a one. Okay, I got a five. Good. Got away with it. Um, okay, so back to them. Another green card. Good. Okay. Uh, what we got? Fresh eyelids and fresh units. Yeah, it passes. Um, don't think so, but... Well, well actually... Because they've got two of them spent, mind you. They've got a new one on the board. Fresh AI. One, two, three, four... Yeah, we've only got three, haven't we? Oh, hang on, hang on. They, the Aries count for that, don't they? Yeah, I forgot, yeah. Yeah, they do. Which I find a bit of a strange one, really, when there's... It's never going to work in this mission, is it? Rumoured enemies are not counting for a mission track advance. Yeah, you would have maybe thought that they might didn't they maybe didn't count for that as well, but it doesn't say that, so right, so they're not gonna pass. Hit AI there is none. Unhit AI closest to fresh unit fire. Um well the only unit that could fire is spent. Uh yeah. Yeah, the only unit that's within two is spent. So no. So there's no firing. Unhit AI closest to a fresh unit that just acted. Or a smooth towards. Well that should be what happened. Um now the unit that just acted, well there was two of them because my group moved these two. So this guy is one, two, three, four, five away from that. Six away from that, obviously. One, two, three, four. Well, he's five away from both of them. Does that mean he takes priority there? Maybe. Maybe. Unhit AI yeah, because it's the fresh unit that just acted. Or us move towards. Um... Interestingly, I think this is this is uh, the stuff Lewis got in uh, regarding my question because I wasn't grasping it. He must have been thinking I was asking something else. And I think it was about a group move and which one you would pick as a target between the two. I think it was something along the lines. But unfortunately, I led him to that from he must have just been baffled by what I was trying to ask. Uh... So it could, well, the AI could be either one of the two. Uh, so I think maybe we just need to decipher that first. One, two, three, four, five, six, that is. Yeah, so is that one or that one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but he's five away from that. He's five away from both of them. So if it was this guy, which I think we'll go to decide first then the target is going to be that one. Where if it's this guy, we need to pick between the two. 
not that it's probably going to make any difference there. Um, and it does kind of look like they can both or us move, I think, because this guy can move into here, which is a, although he's moving into that guy's fire zone, it's a DMX, and this wouldn't be moving into a fire zone, it'd be moving closer, that's fine. Right, um, so between the two AI, yeah, it's just a random, isn't it? It's swipe hit, uh, unhit, and then... Right, so the unit's one, two, three, and the Ari's four, five, six. Roll the two. Right, so that does mean he can move towards either one of them. Did, does it matter, Grant? I don't think it matters. Because that's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two. Three. Yeah, so it's that, it's that hex or that hex. He's going to move into that hex because that's got cover. That is. Oris moving closer to both of them. Um, does he want to change his facing? Maybe. Because he's still got... Yeah, he's still got that guy in his forward arc. So, yeah, I would think so. And he moved one hex closer to both of them. He is going to check on a two, though. So, because he moved into the heavy woods... And yes, we get six. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's back to us, isn't it? Right. Well, you could, you could take the chance again and group move again. But oh yeah, I forgot we are we can see this guy. But again, you don't you don't really want to be messing with them, really, do you? Why don't I group move again? Well, I'm going to be in that guy's flank. Because I was going to do it like that, but... Um, to get out of uh, his two hex. But I don't really need to if I move into there, because I'm then in his flank. Right, I'm going to take a chance again. And group move them like that, checking on a one. Yeah, six again. We're riding our walk, maybe. Uh, okay, so back to them. Green card again. Uh, nothing up close. Nothing that can fire. Nope. So, and then there's no, no hit AI. Uh, that next one's fire even if long range no because they've no line of sight there's no long range yeah so it's going to be mission orders this time because there's no fire there's no need to rally yeah mission orders can't remember what they are again oh yeah it's the RE thing oh wait a minute wait a minute no it's fine it's fine Offer SRE with the same symbol as the active order card symbol. Move to X's towards nearest control marker. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, the control markers. Yeah, I'm thinking there's no control markers, but there is. Yeah, so they move to X's towards nearest control marker. Uh, and it's the one with the same symbol as the active order card. And then we make one ch spent check. So the... Symbol is a uh, grey diamond. It's grey, isn't it? It's not white, because I'm looking at this one right here. And that is white. And that is not quite white. I'm pretty sure there is grey. Just looking there. Let me see. I've got a stack of them at the side here. There's, there's a grey... Well, there there's a grey di diamond there, like... It does just, it does say, I never considered that the last time, it says, with the same symbol. Doesn't talk about the colour. However, you could read it that way. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to find any rules on that, I don't think. I don't think I've came across anything.
Um, I don't think I've came across any indis- like talking about the symbols at all. Well, that's definitely there's side by side. Look, you can see that's a white diamond, that's a grey diamond, and on the card, to me anyway, that's a grey diamond. In fact, so that guy shouldn't be there. Let's go and see if there's a white diamond and the discard pile. Yeah, there is. In fact, there there's two cards together, like white and grey. Well, I played it, I definitely played it the last time and nobody said anything. Not that, like I say, I'm, I'm not getting an awful lot of comments on this video, which is fine. Well, it's not really. I would, I would like to have had stuff because I'm struggling a little. Um, however, you know, you can't force folk to... And you've always said that this is for... This is mainly for my enjoyment. It's, this is me playing a game, you know. Um, however, yeah, I've got questions here, haven't I? Well, most of my games do have a bit of questions, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't, uh, I played it that it was exactly the symbol the, the last time. So I looked at colour and symbol. It does say, um, with the same symbol. Yeah, I think you could say, well, that's a grey diamond. That's a white diamond. They're not the same. You know, why would there be different colours of them? Yeah, okay, okay. I'm good with that. Well, you know what? I don't think there's any grey gray diamonds. There's that white diamond there. And we've got a grey triangle. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six. Not one of them are grey diamond. So this could mean they're going to pass. Interesting. All fresh are you with the same symbol as active order card symbol move to X. Yeah. Well they're not. They they can't carry out anything on the card, so they are gonna pass. Um yeah, the thing is here, they've got two units <laughs> spent and I've only got one this time and I'm feeling like wanting to go on. Um I think it's risky to keep moving these guys as a group, though. Remember, you do have your rapid deployment. I want to try and get here if I can. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to pass. So they've passed. I'm going to move. We're, we're going for this control hex. Um... Yeah, okay. So I've moved one into there. I'm not going to group move this time. Or am I? <laughs> no, I think it's tempting fate. I've done it twice. Uh, I'm still tempted. Ah, right, no, I'm not, I'm not. Just going to move him. Four. Damn it. <laughs> we have got away with it. Okay, back to the eye. Right, blue card. Okay. So that brings everybody in. Um, now, there's nothing up close, though. No. The counter actually, we didn't pass, we didn't fire. There's no hit AI. AI closest to lowest DV unit, fire plus two caps. No, because he's not, he's not, like I say, he's not in our, he's not in our fire zone, we've not got, we're not in his arc of fire, that guy. He's the only guy within two, I believe. This guy's three away. Um. So yeah, so there's no firing going on. Yeah, that's right. There's no firing going on. So, yeah, there's no hit AI, no firing going on. AI closest to unit war us move towards. Okay. 
Um, well, he, he has a course, isn't it? Yeah, he's going to move. So, he's going to move and he short range and is flank I believe AI closest to the unit or has moved to or he's two away yeah it's definitely him it's definitely him so he's going to move into there he's going to move into there for and then turn his face sign like that which is actually that's fine well it's not fine but Right, that's what he's going to do, and then there's no check. And obviously he's allowed to move into short range because it's not in the guy's fire zone. And he moves closer, and yeah, that's fine. Right, so we now need to move this guy, I think. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just going to move him in there then. So we check on a one. Ah, it's bent. Well, glad that wasn't the group move one then. So... He's now spent as well, but this guy's spent, but if I get a, if I get a blue one, then he is going to try and fire on the Pioneers. Right, well, it's back to them, isn't it? Let's go. It's not blue. Good. And so nothing up close. Uh, right, nothing that can fire, because it's not a blue card and nothing's within two... So no fire, no hit AI, no fire, mission orders. Again, that was kind of swift, wasn't it? So this time we've got a white circle. And you know what? There's not a white circle. <laughs> so mission orders are all fresh, are you? Um, there's not a white circle. There's a grey circle. There's a pink circle. There's not a white circle. So they're going to pass again. Ooh, it's maybe tempting now. Well, or is it? Is it? No, it's not really grand. We've still got two units. I mean, this guy's away back there. But if I pass now, this guy's becoming fresh. This guy's getting fresh again. And, you know, I don't like that. I mean, okay, this guy's spent now, but I think I should keep going. Maybe. <laughs> As even when I reach this hex, look at what's round about me. Well, there are no enemy units in the cup. Because as soon as I move into there, this guy's going to be revealed. However, if I move into there, we also get another German unit. So, right, okay, I'm going to keep moving. Move into there, check on a one. That's a two, good. Right, back to them. Blue card, oh dear. Uh, right, well, there's nothing up close, but they can fire this time. Yeah, go there. Uh, it's not a hit unit. Uh, there are two cats and all. Come on. Right, so that's not going to apply. There's no hit AI. AI furthest from a hit unit. There's no hit unit. AI furthest from the lowest defensive value unit. Fire plus two caps. Yeah, that's one. So the only unit that can fire is this guy. Because remember, night rules again. Got to be within two. He can fire on this. We don't need to check furthest or lowest defensive value because that's the only unit that can fire and that's the only unit that can fire on. Uh, well, the reason that he can fire on that is, is within two. Basically. There's no day. We can't look elsewhere. So then he's getting two caps. So he's firing with a three. Yeah, well, he's not he's not a short range, Grant. It's not, it's not that bad. So it's a three, but the two caps is a bit brutal. So it's a five against a 12. He's not in a... A five against a 12, so he does need a seven. Uh, yeah. So he needs a seven. Come on. Be nice. Be nice. Yes. Five. Good. Okay, that was good, that's fine. So nothing doing, no checks required. Back to us. We're going for it, come on. We're on a run. Ah, oh, you've said it now, Grant. Well, hang on, if you move into there. This guy, brings this guy into the equation. He's going to be able to fire on you. 
Well, if he goes to fire though, we're going to see what he has. Could be a no enemy and then he disappears, they pass. I could also move into here, but then this guy is now going to be after me too. And he's, he's a definite unit. I think I'm going to come in here and do a check on a one. Uh, just before I draw that, I'm just wondering. Four caps I've got. No, take my chances because, I'll tell you why, we've got rapid deployment, which would move me two hexes, and I've got caps to be able to move. So, yeah, take a check on a one. I still don't want them spent. Four, yes. Right, back to them. However, I think there's going to be some reaction now. It's not a blue card. Uh, now, this guy up here would have had muzzle flash. Again, it doesn't... Doesn't matter. I would. I wouldn't have changed what I've done. It's fine. Right. So there's nothing up close. Counter actions. We did not pass. We did not fire. So let's get that. There's no mortar infantry gun. Uh, yeah, because they can. This RE can fire. So AI further from all this defense value unit fire. Like I said, I moved into two hex range from this. He's a fresh RE. Um, he does have one in the site on the hex border. We're not in nothing. So he is, he's the only one that, I mean, again, it's not, we don't need to look for the furthest from and the lowest DV unit. It's only that guy that can fire at that. And, well, I, can't, I think I am wanting a no enemy counter this time. So we're going to check to see what this is. I want to see there's three of them in here, but I'm not 100% sure. Might just be two. Right, here we go. Oh no, I've seen it. Ah, uh, I did not want that. Um, so how does he face? Probably that way. Yeah, because that guy's in his flank, so he needs to go that way. Ah, uh, could have done me out that. Right, so he's going to fire. Um... Fortunately, no caps, so it's it's a three against a... Oh, hang on, he's in our flank, isn't he? Is he? Yeah, he is, he's in our flank. So it's a three against an 11. The good thing, this is a green card, and, and he's going to be a spent check on a four, so... Mm. However, three against 11. Yeah, so he needs an eight. We really, really don't want this one. After all that progress. Seven, yes. Okay. We're hanging on, we're hanging on. Um, seven plus the three is ten, and he was firing at a flank, which is a one. So no hat. Um, I'm going to mark him as well with the muzzle flash this time. And he's going to spend check on a four, but I'm not caring about the muzzle flash. I just want... A four or less here. Don't want a five or a six. Three, yes. So he has spent. That's important, but because now we can just ignore him. We're going to be moving it in that guy's flank as well. This is good. This is good. And then if I can get into that hex, I could go one, two with a rapid deployment. Well, here's the other thing, Grant. I'm still going to be within two of him. Yeah, because if I move into there, this guy could have a pop at me. So I think you should just move one. Like I say, you're going to be in that guy's flank. He's going to have to pivot towards you. So I'm going to move in there for one and do a check on a one. Yeah. Three. We're still going. We're still going. Right, okay, this could be a big one. Back to them. Reshuffle after action, right? What are discards on the top? Um, no, I can take the muzzle flash off. Right, so what we got, um, we did not pass, we did not fire. So no counter actions, there's no hit AI. 
can they fire? No. Because both units... Damn it. Right, I just looked there. I've pressed stop again. So, my last words were both units there. Um, can he fire? Right, I've shuffled the deck as well. Oh, that's annoying. Right, the unit was here facing this way. He could not fire. He could not do anything. He, the, the last instruction was um, AI closest to fresh unit that just acted move towards. He moved in here. It was costing them three to do it because it was one to move in, one to reverse, and one for the stone building. I, th I mean, I've I've done all this, but it wasn't recording. Obviously, again, another glitch. It, it's just that uh, this app is really bugging me now. It's going to keep happening, Grant. You're going to have to do something about it. I've done a spent check. It was a reshuffle card, so I've done a spent check on a three. We drew a three, so he's he spent. I then shuffled the deck and I was yakking away, talking about things while I was shuffling my deck. Uh, what was I talking about? Because <laughs> I was talking to a camera that wasn't recording at the time. Anyway, that I didn't miss very much, but that's what happened. Yeah, you'll just need to believe what I drew a three. I mean, I showed it to the camera, but <laughs> it wasn't recording. Um yeah what, yeah, what I was talking about was I could do the one, two, move into here. I could do the rapid deployment right now. It was my turn. Into there. But I'm going to be adjacent to this. And I'll, this isn't such a concern because, okay, I could get a blue card, but he's facing away. He would need to pivot first. Okay, he might get, the, he might get one of the ones that pivot and fire. But more of the concern is this, and I was wondering about... Um, should I be able to look in the cup to find out how many no enemies are in the car? Because uh, that might be relevant. There's one, two, three. There's five REs left. I want to reckon there's three no enemies out of the five. So that's your odds, Grant. I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking in the cup. But, I mean, um, maybe you could work it out by working out how many Soviet units have come on board as well. But uh, I don't know. Right, I'll probably need to wrap this up as well. It's getting late, so but it's been an exciting part of this. Looks like we've, you know, should we just dive in? Now, I could just do the one move into here. Um, then this RE might act and fire. Because if we draw a blue card, though, that's trouble. Yeah, that is trouble. Why don't I just use the rapid deployment right now? And I'm moving into cover as well. Yeah, Grant, it's there. It's there. Definitely. So I'm going to play this card as my action. It costs me zero. So there'll be no spent check. Move a friendly unit two hexes over passable terrain. Right, so I'm going to move in there for one. And I'm going to move into this control hex for two. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with my face in. Let's just wait just now and um, what happens? Because I get, should the Germans occupy a Soviet control marker then replace a control marker with a German rifle? Oh, that means we're stacked. Oh, that's harsh. We really want this to be a no anyway. I think I've got to, I think I've got to still do it though. Cause we're in a stone building. Right, I'm I'm doing that. So that's gonna be replaced by uh I, d I still don't know my, about my facing yet, so let me come back to that. But it's just a German rifle, eh? So that's replaced with a German rifle. Um actually I've Got the one that didn't go in the cap track. Can I just use that again? Is there any issue with that? No, don't think there is. So he's going to come in here too. I'm not sure about our facing. Um, well, I want to... S ah, yeah, but we need the other control marker before we can escape. Well, hmm. Right, we're also going to get 
Immediately, we're going to score four victory points when a German unit takes control of the Soviet control marker and remove the control marker. So I'm going to do that as well. So I'm going to get four points. One, two, three, four. That puts him back to five. It's a bit more respectable. But you can see if we could get this other one, then we'll maybe got a chance. Um. So this is also going to wake this guy up. Kind of need to be facing that way, don't we? It's two rifle units, isn't it? Thing is, that that means he gets to fire them both. Well, that guy's going to wake up too. Using a zero DM hex one two, so they're both going to wake up with us. How do you decide which one you draw first? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really tell you, but I'm tempted to. Oh, I don't like it Mars, does it? Because if you draw an enemy there, that makes that one more likely it's going to be. But if you draw an enemy there, it means. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I've got to face that way because if this is a unit, then at least then they're in my front. Um, and that's fine. Yeah, because I want to start moving that way, I guess. Okay, I'm going to reveal this one first then. That's me done my move. There's no check needed anyway, because it was a card I used. I'm going to reveal this one first. Just checking on recording again. Um, yeah, hang on. Right, okay, I, I do need to get things wrapped up here, but I suppose I need to do that. So let's finish in turn. Right, come on, give me an no enemy here. I don't quite mind some... Well, no, you do, Grant. Well, I don't mind so much because he's not going to get the close... the short range bonus. Right, what is this guy? What is he? He is this. Ah! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Hmm. That's brutal. So he's going to be attacking with six against 12 and he gets to fire at both of us. Because we're stacked. So we get two different dice rolls, but it happens all at once. Six against 12. Only needs a six. Can you imagine? If he rolls two tens, he critically hits both of us. Oh. I'll tell you what. Keep that, walk, keep that modified die roll handy, Grant. Uh. Yeah, to roll, to roll a 1 to get a minus 3. Well, it might be last gasp. Right, well, let's check this guy as well, because like I can see, he's, he's on a 0 DM hex within 2. I bet this is going to be an old enemy now, isn't it? Yeah. Could it not be another way about? Damn. There's, there's three RDs left. There is three counters in the cart. I wasn't looking. I was just feeling them. Um, I, I, I say I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe you are allowed to go and see because sometimes you actually. I think did I not see at one point, accidentally? But, I mean, maybe you should keep them hidden. Well hidden. Uh right. We're not doing a spent check. I think everyone's been dealt with now. This German unit appears and doesn't let us draw a. Uh, a card, because remember, it's not coming from the rumoured enemy cup. Um, well, I need to finish the night on a... I need to finish on a, a, an AI turn, so I'm going to have to draw this card before we finish. So, well, we know what's going to happen. They're going to get attacked. Well, unless we... What was it? What is the one... Disengage. That would be good. Eh? Right, so we do have short range action. Here we go. Uh, why am I stopping there? Did we shuffle? We shuffled the deck. Ah, that was the last time, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the last time. Because we didn't we didn't do a spend check there, no, because we drawn the we used the card. Right, okay. AI. 
Very plus units less than equal to 10. Track moves. Um, well, you know what? Well, we just got another unit there, so maybe not. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, we've got 13. So, no. Right, we still need to deal with the card, though, Grant. That is fire, isn't it? Yeah. So, at short range, we're going to fire. Yeah. So, and like I say, because these units are stacked, he's going to get fire at us twice, uh, both of us. A separate die roll. Pretty sure... Yeah, that's how it works. It's not the same die roll, is it? Uh, see, it's not something I've really been used to. I think it's different die rolls. Hang on. Yeah, 7.5. Stack units and multiple targets. Page 8 of the, the base rules. There are no stacking limits. When a hex with more than one unit is attacked, the attack is resolved simultaneously against all of the targeted units with separate dice rolls. Uh, exception, close combat. Oh yeah, close combat. They can only attack one, I think. Anyway. Does not cost the attacker any extra resources and considered to be one action. Uh, however, each dice roll cap modifier affects only one target and a multi-target hex. Yeah, no, we, well, they're not using caps. Right. Uh, okay, so, yeah, so it's separate dice rolls here. And, um, oops. Right, is everyone still running? Okay, right, yeah. So, it's three plus three for short range. Oh, yeah, but we're in the stone building. I forgot about the stone building. That could save us. Right, so... So it's 6 against 12, but stone building is plus 2. So it's 6 against 14, it's an 80 needs. So it is an 80 needs, right. So we'll roll for the top one first. An 8 or better is going to be a hit. Come on, be nice. Oh, that's very nice, right. So now on the bottom unit, uh, needs an 8 or better. Ah! Well, I'll tell you what. It's one short of critical. Double six was threatening there again. Needed an eight. That's an 11. That's three above. So the unit underneath is going to get hit. And I'm going to draw a hit counter. They're both rifle units anyway. So I draw this. Suppressed. So it can move, but... That's fire and capable is our rubbish. Um, so that's that guy. The guy up top's fresh. Thing is, we're going to have to have a pop of that guy, aren't we? Um, okay. Right, well, I'm going to have to resolve that later on. Ah, uh, wait a minute, I'm making a mess here. Okay, so there, there and there, we've got a hit unit down the bottom. They're both rifle units. Uh, that's there, that's there. Right, so, but he is going to get, he is going to do a spent check on a four. So we're kind of hoping this one goes. Come on. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted at all. So he stays fresh. Okay. Right, I'll need to leave it there. But um, that was quite exciting. At least we got something started happening. We've got one of the control markers. Just that end bit. Just if that had been the unit over there and that had been the no enemy, we would have been. We almost got out of it with the die roll. But there you go. And then this guy stayed fresh. Okay, I'll I'll be back. Uh, no, I'll not be back tomorrow. Maybe the next night. Um, I'm coming up to the weekend and I'm off, but I've got a few things on as well. But um, we'll get this mission finished, hopefully over that weekend, over the weekend to come, and then see what I'm going to do next. Uh, okay, I'll be back later. Cheers.